Jacob Hall here. So this is Dear Diary 2. All right, so this week uh, we've been busy printing, working, all that good fun stuff. Uh, I may or may not have bought more stuff for myself during Black Friday than kids. Uh, sorry if you don't get any Christmas presents. <laughs> uh, so uh, everyone, right, has been posting all about it. Packouts. These are on sale at Home Depot. Actually, sorry, now these ones are just regular price, but they're on sale. This, the Packout Crate. Uh, I've barely used it. You guys have seen it works really well for transporting Packout bins. Uh, one thing, I don't know if you guys tried this, but you can do something super stupid like that. But, so, I might have got something else from Home Depot. Now these, the price match, you gotta love that. You go into Home Depot, show them Ace Hardware, 19, you get this another two bucks off. So that, that, and you gotta have this guy. These, I think are on, uh, on sale at Home Depot for 19 as well, which you might as well get the thick one, but uh, I didn't buy this one like this. This happens to be something else. I just turned it into this. And this will be a spoiler. So. Take a look at this. This does not look normal, right? All right. So, that is not the way it came. But, if you guys haven't seen this, that is the Milwaukee socket set in SAE that is not supposed to come in there. It came in this. Uh, Electron Smith posted about it. Benjamin Johnson, it's pretty funny. This was listed at like $120, marked down, you know, saying that there was a savings. And then during Black Friday, it was $99. Now, I know a lot of you have taken the Milwaukee socket, socket sets and cut them down and get them to fit in both. Uh, but this just goes right in. And I love this. This is what I've wanted. Now, realistically, I'm going to, of course, wait for this to come out in metric as well. Uh, because I have tons of 10 millimeters I'd like to lose. But I thought this would be much better in here. And then when they come out with the metrics, it'll go over there. So I'm looking at this and it's right, each side is the same. And then it dawned on me, why not see if it fits the bricks? So take those out. It's got lips. fits so you can put this in here now it's not the easiest there's little places that you can get your finger in right so I'm pretty sure if you had something in there you could easily get that out but then I it thought on me you could double stack these if you just take those tabs off and then I also thought hold on a second if you guys have got these I'm sure this will fit under there. So there you go. You've got your socket and your impact. All you could do is get some Kaizen foam, which I got that up there somewhere. You can see, I eh, know you can't see at top, but uh, get some Kaizen foam. Let's see if I've got it. Get some of this, put it in your bottom layer, cut it out. Uh, that would be an amazing way to store that under there. You have your sockets above, you have your wrench underneath. Uh, so I, uh, I need to add something to this. And I forgot to do it at the beginning, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause. We're gonna do a smaller intermission. All right, so I'm doing a giveaway on here. I've done it on Instagram, but I wanna do one on YouTube. Uh, you guys know uh, I have YouTube because this is on YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna post a different video in the stupid format up and down on Instagram and I'm gonna tell you all to come over to here and watch this video because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give away three prizes three prizes okay so what I'm gonna do is all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel comment on this video and you're gonna find out what to comment in a little bit but subscribe do your notifications like share me all that other good stuff I would appreciate it. So I'm gonna get on to the actual stuff in the video. 
So one of the things you could do, and if you haven't seen uh, Kaizen foam, this is where I got this color match Kaizen foam. This is the Kaizen holster, right? And I can say that because it cuts holes. You literally push it through the foam, and then it's got a button you push, and the foam, right? So you literally can cut little finger holes in the foam. And I was doing it with some old tool, whereas this thing just literally, another piece of foam, just like that, right? You can see, cuts it out with the holster. That's from Kaizen Foam. Their, their stuff rocks. Brian, uh, he's a great guy over there. Give him a check out. All right, so let's move on. So you could take and cut the foam out. I'm pretty sure you could just put a pull tab on this and you could double thicker these, or you could, like I said, put that on top, put the impact. I don't think height-wise, I'm gonna get that to fit, but here's another idea that I have, right? So instead of using this one, is let's go back to this original guy, okay? So, Take these bins out on this side, okay? We drop this socket in. If you drop it in, it's not going to be supported, so we'll put it at the top. So we use Kaizen foam, put a ratchet in the bottom, and then put that there. Okay, so now you've got your socket set and your ratchet in there. Then you get your full size Kaizen foam, the full thickness ones that go in there. You put your stubby in here, or you could do the stubby and the ratchet right here, and then you could put both and just cut the tabs off one and stack them. And now you've got your socket set and your pack out, full size. You could have your two imp your impact and your ratchet. I think that's a way, a way to go. I, it honestly it impresses me the way that Milwaukee has evolved their tools. Uh, I think that some of the stuff they evolve slowly and some of the stuff they evolve fast. Uh, I think it's a great setup that they're doing. I'm glad they finally listened to some of us and came out with this. Uh, this ratchet has an amazing, uh, it's got a smaller degree of rotation. So when you're in those tight areas, you can get it in there. Uh, I'm impressed by that. Not to mention the sockets that are squared so you can put a wrench on them and so they don't roll. So if you've got it resting on something, you know how you set it in your car and it rolls off and it disappears like your 10 millimeter. Good to go. So that is that. That sucker fits in there just fine. I'm, I'm pretty excited with that. Like I said, the way they've evolved their tools. Speaking of evolving their tools, this guy, right? This is one of my original Milwaukee tools recorded. This is the Magnum holster. Look at that. Holster. It's dirty. I use this thing for all types of stuff. My main thing I used this for was when I was drilling out the rivets on my C10, my 1964 C10. This thing had enough power to break my wrists, but Milwaukee corded holster. Of course, you gotta keep the Chuck key on with a zip tie. This thing, I love it. So, you can see what I've got going on here. Uh, I've been pretty busy. Uh, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, which is if you go to store.jacoball.com, uh, this video, I'm hoping to go up Monday. The sale ads ends Tuesday at 5 p.m. So if I get this video up in time, head on over to store.jacobo.com. If you buy two rectangle pack out uh, <coughs> bit holder bins, you get the tall inserts for free. Uh, if you, this video goes up late or you catch, catch on this video later, sorry about your luck, but the bins are still up for sale. Uh, I honestly love all of the stuff that this community has done with these things. Uh, being able to take your stock Milwaukee case and adapt it to the job that you're using it for is what I think makes the, the packout system so much better. Uh, I've been busy printing for everyone. In fact, all of these bins, right, you can see here. And if you look behind me, I'm going to turn this. See that? I got a whole, <laughs> I've got a whole lot of those. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a little thing on the Packout Hangout group on Facebook, take a look at it, uh, where we'll just set up like a swap where people who have tons of these post, and that way when you're in a state uh, and somebody's got a need and you've got the want to get rid of them, you can just let people know, hey, 
I've got these, I wanna get rid of them, let's just trade, because honestly, for me to ship these to Hawaii, you could get them cheaper at Acme Tool uh, or at other places. I, uh, I think we should show some of the giveaway stuff. What do you guys think? You think that's a good idea? All right, so take a look. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unplug this, and we're gonna come over here. All right, so what I've got here, I have got two little get-ups, right? I'm gonna go ahead, in fact, I'm gonna turn this thing around. Hold on a second. All right, this is easier. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. All right, so we're gonna have, like I said, three things. All right, so right here, we've got this option. All right, you guys can stop it with the hands, you're crazy. So, you guys asked for it, Milwaukee Flex Fit Hat, large. Some of their new anti-fog, anti-scratch safety glasses. Some Ink Zol, the big fat one, beer cozies, and Ohio Power Sticker Tool stickers. Thank you, Ohio Power Tool, for donating some of these items. All right, number two, we've got Cut Level 5 large gloves. These things are awesome. The tiny little tape measure. Uh, honestly, I think they're a gimmick, but they're sort of fun. Uh, my kids love them. Uh, they each have one, and... Yeah, okay, whatever. Well, you can't win. You don't have YouTube. So this tape measure is, you know, it's six feet. If you're in a pinch, it gets you covered. You get another beer cozy. We got one of these pouches. I love these pouches, my big pack outs and my electrician's bag. I use those in, and again, Ohio Power Tool sticker. Thank you, Ohio Power Tool. All right, we got one other. So come over here, I'm gonna show you. So you guys know I love the pack out stuff. So, I talked to my friends over at Packable Tool, the Cord Cobra. You guys should have seen it because I've been posting about it on Instagram. It mounts to those rails. It's made out of carbon fiber, uh, PETG, I believe. It's 3D printed. Yeah. Oops, sorry. It's PLA. Carbon fiber, PLA. You can see there. So, what I'm going to do is they've been gracious enough to help me out with this. I will send you one of these if you're also a winner. So, the way it's gonna work is three different winners. Three different winners will be eligible. Okay, so, like I said, three prizes. The hat, the marker, the glasses, the two markers, the stickers, the beer cozy, beer cozy, gloves, zipper pouch, beer cozy, tape measure, stickers, yeah, and the packable tool cord cobra. And all you have to do is comment in the comments the three things that I said that had the word hole in it. That's it. Now, of course, this is one of those things where I want you to follow, subscribe, all that other stuff. You can find me over on Instagram and Facebook, The Jake of All. I also have a Facebook group for all this pack out stuff. It's called Pack Out Hangout Organization Nation. I'd appreciate it if you follow me there. But all you have to do is subscribe. If you are subscribed and you comment the three things that had hole in it, you're good to go. If you share me with others, I I'd love it. But otherwise, I really just want you to comment those three things. Also, if you have any other comments for things you wanna see, I'm gonna be posting a video where I go over this guy versus that guy. Uh, you can guess which one was the winner. Super awesome. Uh, what else am I going to do? Uh, we've had some new pack out 3d printed stuff that we've done that I'm going to go over some easier ways to build them out. Uh, I'm also doing some stuff for the versus stack T stack, uh, DeWalt craftsman, whatever. Cause that's going up pretty well. And yeah, that's about it. I appreciate y'all watching and as always like subscribe, share peace.